same exact hardware, completely different experience. This is a 2017 ThinkPad T470 i5, 16 gigabytes of RAM, one terabyte SSD. Most people are running Windows 11 on it and complaining it's slow. I installed Cache OS and now it boots in about 18 seconds, uses 600 megabytes of RAM at idle, and I get almost eight hours of battery. Today you'll see exactly how it did and why I'm never going back. Why I ditched Windows 11. Windows 11 on this laptop, four plus gigabytes of RAM just at idle, random CPU spikes from nothing, forced updates at literally the worst time. You know what I mean. And battery life dropped to five hours. I daily drive Linux anyway, but I wanted zero config. That's Cache OS. Okay, so I downloaded the ISO file from cacheos.org. I'll put the link below. Boot it up, spam F12 on this bad boy, also the enter key. And here we go, this is the Cache OS installer. Now, spoiler alert, I thought this was gonna go just fine. And I ran into a little issue. It was kind of a big issue. In fact, it made it so that I could not continue on with the installation. I ran into a solid wall. After hours and hours and hours of trying many different things, I actually gave up. I went online, I looked up Cache OS forums, I looked in Arch forums, I looked on Reddit, and no one had a definitive answer to this problem, which, which was that packages could not be downloaded. I changed my mirrors. I chose different bootloaders. I chose different file systems. Nothing worked. And then the next day, I posted on Reddit in the Cache OS, on our Cache OS, my problem. And I got a comment from one of the developers, I think on the team, or someone in Reddit that said, it's fixed. So the next day, I came home from work and I tried it again and it got to 37% and I was ready to just lose and boom, it worked. Okay, so here we are loading up Cache OS for the first time. Good old Lenovo splash screen, here we go. Choose Cache OS on the screen. The usual Linux startup. And beautiful Cache OS animation splash screen. Boom, here we go. Great wallpaper on the lock screen. Put in my password here. And we are in Cache OS. This is the stock welcome screen. I went past that. You have an awesome little desktop manager here. Kind of reminds me of GNOME a little bit. The animations in Cache OS are fantastic. There's some wiggly screens, there's some explosions, it looks great. Here we are in Fast Fetch using the FSH shell. In my opinion, Cache OS just looks really nice and clean. If you're coming from Windows, this would probably not be a bad distro to go ahead and start out on. All right, well, there you have it, folks. I got Cache OS to actually install on my laptop. It was a saga indeed. I'm not gonna go through a lot of what I actually found in Cache OS, but stay tuned for my next video where I'm gonna daily drive it on my laptop for about a week, and I'm gonna give you all the juicy details on what Cache OS is really like. There's some beautiful animations and some really cool features. So hey, don't forget to like this video if you like this kind of content, and you know what? Dislike it if you don't. Subscribe to my channel for more content like this. I've got a great Cache OS video coming up with an in-depth look at Cache OS on a laptop for seven days. Until then, I'll catch you guys later. Peace.